peace, people. You know, growing up, I don't know too many people that wasn't molested. The majority of the women that I've dated was molested by a family member. Throughout the years growing up, we've heard rumors of multiple child celebrities being molested and multiple celebrities doing a child molestation. Growing up in Bronx River, I was molested by Africa Bambada. Not only was I molested by Africa Bambada, but most of my friends and most of my community was molested by Africa Bambada. Africa Bambada used to have boy orgies with little boys. And when I say little boys, I mean little boys that didn't even have pubic hairs. This is what he did. Africa Bambada has gotten away with this for decades. Allegedly, Russell Simmons, since I was in my younger days, some of the dudes that was around me that were still preteens, Russell Simmons was molesting these preteens. We didn't hear rumors. Books from Latoya Jackson that she done put out there talking about how young Michael Jackson was pimped out to the industry. How his father used to pimp him out to the music executives that used to molest him. Allegedly. People, Michael Jackson was molested. Allegedly. Broken him. It broke him. This is why you had a, a grown ass man running around with the voice of a little boy. He was damaged. This is the damage that child molestation does. Had that man mentally messed up one of our icons, our legends. Mike Tyson molested. Oprah Winfrey molested. I mean, at the end of the day, the reason why I use some of these celebrities' names is if you don't care about the regular people, then maybe maybe you care about them. But just even still, all of these celebrities, all of these children, growing like I said, growing up, I don't know too many people that wasn't molested. I don't know too many people that wasn't molested. A lot of the dudes that's in the penitentiary... They're not telling people that they're going full ape shit in the streets shooting everybody because they're angry because they were molested. But they can't tell people that they was molested by a man. This is what's going on in our community, people. We have to bring an end to child molestation in all communities. Will it ever be safe for our children? What kind of future is it for the youth? If they can't grow maturely without some adult just victimizing them, people, why do we let pedophilia get a pass? Why do we let pedophilia get a pass? Why is Africa Bambada still walking around like everything is okay? Why do the Zulu Nation still walk around with their chest stuck out like everything is okay? And why did the people did not demand answers? Why is it that these Catholic priests, preachers, these priests, by the boatloads of being accused of child molestation, smeared all over the media for decades, and in these cases just go away? People, we have to pass laws to protect the children. There is no future without the youth. People, I need for you people to please get behind the Child Victims Act. This was an act that Ron Savage was pretty much promoting. Ron Savage right now is MIA. So I need for you people to pick up where he left off at. I need for you to be a voice. I need for this video. This video right here is my most important video ever. This is a cry out to you to share this video on your social media websites, all of your social media websites, to share your to share this video, I need for you to share this video 
on YouTube. I need for you to share this video, play this video, promote this video, please, people. So many victims have been victimized. I don't think y'all understand what a victim goes through. When some old decrepit bastard creeps in in the middle of the night and takes a child innocence, you never get over it. It never goes away. You know, growing up, I had to listen to stories of how my mom's stepfather was raping her sisters. My sister was raped. I was molested. My son, my son, my son was molested. And now my son is running around all confused and broken and messed up. My son is like a generational curse that's being passed on. And it's like nobody's doing nothing about it. It's like nobody cares. What is it going to take, people, for us to put our foot down? Why is Russell Simmons still running around? Why is Africa Bambada still running around? Why, people? Why is R. Kelly still running around? Michael Jackson never got justice for what they did to him. Oprah Winfrey was raped and molested. And many numerous other people committed su suicide. Africa Bambada had one of the breakdancers from the UK jump in front of a train. He committed suicide. He had a young boy, teenager rather, or whatever age he was, wake up after being date raped and stabbed him up. He was locked up in Brazil. And the legal age in Brazil was 14. Africa Bambada was locked up in Brazil for sex crimes. What are we going to do, people? One out of three. One out of three females are molested. And they say they don't know the number with young men because they don't tell. Young men never tell. I told. I came to you people. I'm asking you for help now. I'm asking you to put your foot down. I'm asking you to please share this video. I'm asking you to please get behind the Child Victims Act. Stop being such a fucking coward. Get behind the act and protect the children. There is no future without the children. Grow some balls. Protect the youth. Fight for something for a cause, for a chance. Don't let no more Chris Stokes get away with what they did to B2K. Don't let no more Quincy Joneses come along and break down the young Tevins, allegedly. We all seen that video with Tupac exposing Quincy Jones. We all seen that video circulating all through YouTube and mysteriously that video is not on YouTube no more. Y'all knew a generation ain't up on Quincy Jones, but Tupac exposed them and the video was all over YouTube. And now all of a sudden that video is gone. These dudes in the industry are destroying our children. And you know why they doing that? Because we idolizing them because they can sing, dance, play basketball, throw a punch. People, it's time for us to unite and make it safe for our children. One out of three children are being females, are being molested. They say one out of six young men. That's one third. One third of our children are being raped in the middle of the night by a sex predator. How they say no justice, no peace? Please, people, this is the most important fight that we will ever have to fight. This is the most important cry. That I will ever cry to the people. I'm a grown man. So I don't have to worry about being molested again. But I do have to worry about the next generation of children that's being molested right now, people. I need your voice. I need more voices. I need for all of you people that have a YouTube channel to share this video and get behind the Child Victims Act. So we can make sure no more children unjustly get molested, and we can make sure that the court system can go back and take people to trial who think they got away for it, they, who think they got away with raping children of their innocence, people, please. 
This video right here is a video that should go viral. This is the most important video that you've ever watched in your life. What are you going to do with it? The ball is in your court. Anyway, people, hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. You know, I done laid off of child molestation for a little while because I know sometimes it can be overwhelming for me, for you. But I got to get back on my job, people. Please, people, we need your help. The children need your help. I'm a grown man now, but there's still children being molested. Please. Peace.